Tibetan Mastiff Puppy. If you bought a Tibetan Mastiff Puppy, take into consideration that it is the beginning of your new life, especially if you are an inexperienced owner of this breed. You will need to study a lot of things to have a strong bond with your puppy, deserve its love, obedience, loyalty, and to acknowledge you as alpha. The first thing you should do when you bring home this cute fluffy is to create a suitable environment for your new canine friend. So what are general tips for your Tibetan messy puppy care? Let's find out! This is the Beyond Fur channel and before I walk you through with details, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications whenever I upload a new video. What you need to take good care of the Tibetan messy puppy to help it grow into a healthy, well-raised dog. Grooming Make your Tibetan Pasty puppy to get used to a grooming routine to avoid troubles in the future. Make its basing and grooming a pleasant routine for your puppy. Your puppy must know that its coat will be brushed, ears cleaned, and its body will be regularly examined. When you base your puppy, be sure you have dog shampoo and conditioner. When a Tibetan Mastiff is a puppy, brush its coat two or three times a week. When it grows up, it will need less regular grooming. Brush your puppy's teeth as much as needed to show it that this is your pup's routine. Clean pup's ears only when needed. Fit in. As I talk about general tips today, I'll give you general tips on Tibetan Master Puppy feeding, and in my following video, I will give you more detailed tips on how to feed your Tibetan Master Puppy to have a healthy, well bred, loyal, obedient canine friend. Feed your Tibetan Mercy puppy with high-quality food that is rich in protein, vitamins, minerals, and fats. All these ingredients are necessary for your puppy's proper feeding. Health As for health issues, it's better if you carefully observe your pup's health when it's 7 or 10 weeks old. This time, there is a risk that demyelinating neuropathy can be developed and this disease is transmitted genetically in Tibetan Mastiff dogs. That's why it is a must to buy a puppy from a breeder with a good reputation that will provide you with all information about pup's parents and assures you that your puppy is free from genetic diseases. Physical Activity If your puppy is not one year old yet, try not to overdo exercise because this time its bones are still developing and excessive exercise may harm your puppy. As any other guard dog, the Tibetan Mastiff also prefers to stay at home and play in the yard. So it is better to take fewer walks with your pup and play more in the yard. Socialization As all other dog breeds, and especially large dogs need socialization, try to socialize your Tibetan Mastiff puppy, let it play with kids, with other pets and family members, and let it know that not all people or pets are enemies and threats. Take out your puppy to other dog-friendly places, in neighborhoods, but try to use different routes because Tibetan Mastiff may get territorial about the route. Let it know that it is for all. Socialization will help your puppy be friendlier towards other people. It will not be overprotective. In my previous videos, I spoke about the Tibetan Mastiff character. I recommend watching Tibetan Mastiff you need to know, just to know more about your pup's character in the future. These are the main general tips for the Tibetan Mastiff care. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.